And welcome back, gamers. This is SKS with Let's Play Colonization. Drum roll. Da -da 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 and remember, I'm so hot when I play this game that they've changed the name of Hot Wings to SKS Wings. So remember that when you go to Hooters and Buffalo Wild Wings. All right. Uh, I tapped out to save the game in between videos, and I got up and stretched my legs. The only thing that happened was, I believe in the last video you saw that Fort Boob is actually a fort now. It's officially upgraded to that. We are still mass-producing things. This unit here, I changed just to go out so I wouldn't skip through a turn, so I was thinking of you gamers. It was always about you. So we need to actually start producing the stable, so we're going to move these guys down here. Leave him up there to make tools, because we'll need that to make guns here soon. We have 12 uh, lumber coming through, so we'll have him do ore. Perhaps food. No, not food yet. We're okay. We'll have another population kick here in just a minute, because I'll bring somebody down. So we'll exit out there. I hate France actually completed their dry dock, so I need to go up to there and change it to something more beneficial. I don't think I can make boats yet. No. So we're going to see what we can do. Um, a printing press would be a good offer here. So they're already making that. We have enough food. I hate France is nice right now. 100. Well, maybe I should have thought about doing the stable. Um, I'll go zoom back into that real quick. Can I make the stable yet? Or do I already have a stable? Oh, I already have it. Okay, yes. Yeah, so we're making horses now. Um, it says XXX. I don't... I'm not sure why that's working. Because um, nobody can work at the stable. It's probably the food consumption. You probably have to make extra food. Uh, is this man a preacher? No, he's a pioneer. Um, I need to actually make a uh, missionary and have them go to the Indians and have them come in so they can do some of those jobs because they're better at fishing and crops than most people. Let's see if there's anybody in Europe. Oops. Anybody in Europe that I can have changed to that. Uh, 178 gold. I suppose we're not going to do 600. We're not purchasing anything. So I'm going to go ahead and get a free colonist. And see if we can bless him as a missionary. Yes. And it got really dramatic there with that music. So we'll pick him up next turn. Probably will be a while. I do need to start saving for another boat, and everything up through here is producing, and we'll go back to our scout, and we'll continue surveying, and Isabella got a little bit bigger, so we're going to sit right here and wait for that boat to come out. Now, colonization's never been the topic of the game, like civilization, where you want to take up every inch of land. That's kind of folly if you try to do that, and I don't think you could even, it would be even remotely possible. It would take too long. Um, I mean, you probably could. Let's hope that boat doesn't make it out. Excellent. But uh, the sense of it is, is just, it's just like with the 13 colonies. We didn't expand across the whole United States. Before we declared independence, we just stayed right there on the edge in the 13 colonies, like I said. And <clears throat> you, you know, you prepared for what you needed to. Now, where do I want to send these boats to? Uh, they have an elder statesman. I think I will send it to I Hate France, because they kind of need the population right now. To help with food. around here a little bit and hopefully we can capture something nice here excellent a hundred coats and a hundred tobacco 
and we sunk a caravel of the French. I love, I just love privateering. If, if I was alive back then, that is exactly what I would be doing. I would be the captain of my own ship, hopefully carrying a toothbrush around, and stealing stuff from the French. I silently rooted against them during World War II. They don't post that on my page or anything. <laughs> my family is of German descent, so I guess it works out in the end, correct? Nazis, maybe. Jew haters, no. I love everybody, except the French. But continuing on, I'm starting to feel a lot more confident on this game right now. As you can tell by me running my mouth, as we're cut off there. Hmm. But we're going to send this ship back to London, England to sell some of those goods. Hopefully we'll get a good price from it. And if this is actually a separate continent up here, it might be interesting. So let's build a road here and start building a road up to New Pork. So hopefully, like I said last video or the video before that, I hope you're enjoying this Let's Play uh, Colonization as I try to, I want more people to see this game and go out and play it because there's so many different ways to win. Uh, we are not giving you muskets, I'm sorry Indians. I don't know why you're getting so mad, um, you just need to take a chill pill and leave us alone. See, here's what I don't understand. Something's happened along the way that's reset the tax rate. And I promise you all, I did not reset the game or reload or anything, but the tax rate's down to 6%. So, whatever caused that to happen, um, I'm going to kiss his ring, because as long as it's under 10%, I don't really care. Now, once it starts getting above 10, I'm going to start having a, uh, a issue with it, and I'll kiss, I'll have a tea party, or a, or a tools party, or whatever he brings up. All right, Liberty membership is increasing, and we have produced a printing press in I Hate France. Excellent. I'm tempted to build a schoolhouse, or no, we're going to build a church. We need to start getting more people over here. All right. And a blacksmith shop. Later on in the game, I'll start picking what I want to, you know, and train and bring certain people over here that I really need. Uh, they definitely need a warehouse. Okay. And our boat has arrived. See what's going on up here. We know where we're going to put the elder statesman to work. And this gentleman here. Can be a fisherman and make food for us. All right. So we're working nicely on food, we're keeping everybody alive. I wonder if I put somebody else there, what will they make? Maybe so. Nope. Alright, well we'll leave them like that. And I need to send this caravel over here to pick up that silver. It's spam. Which spam is doing exactly what I wanted it to do. It's feeding our coffers. Is the game messed up on me there? Kind of cut out. Oh, and here come the Dutch again. So hopefully we can sink some more of their ships and keep them from recolonizing over here. And the colonists are attacking, or the Indians are attacking us and failing miserably. I wish they would chill. I really don't know how to calm them down, so maybe that missionary I bring over will help. So let's sell these 100 coats. Thank you to the French. We made uh, 940 and to the tobacco 300. So we have a missionary coming over. What can we purchase here? A merchant man. Excellent. Yes. 
And do we want to put anything on else on this merchant band? No, we only have 67 gold. So we will send that back. And we'll send the privateer back. And hopefully they will not switch cargo. Alright, we have a colony or a stable at Fort Boone. Or Fort Boob. So things are starting to look up in a lot of aspects. We can now build artillery, which is excellent. So I'm going to build a church here because I want more population to start coming over. We need to start building our population up. Yes, yes, yes. Sons of Liberty membership. Not Gears of War, as some of the comments would say. So we're going to send you to spam and pick up a lot of money that's sitting over there, wasting away. Not in Margaritaville, but... Alright, we need to find an escape route. Oh, and they have made another fort. But it's kind of... Off the, uh, the cuff there. As long as I stay off our land, I'll be okay. I think we pretty much took over this, uh, little mini-continent, this island here. So... If they keep coming near it, I will just sink it and steal their goods. So I'm gonna follow them around the bend there. And the Iroquois keep training. It must be the other Indians who are attacking me down here, not the Iroquois, but I'm not for sure. And we produced a warehouse? Excellent. And we should build a lumber mill, since that's not produced there. We have tons of lumber coming in, so that would free up one of those colonists to do something else. And English Founding Fathers announced that Jean de Brebeuf has joined the Continental Congress. And he, all missionaries function as experts, so that will help us, because I'm going to send the one missionary to pretty much the, the center of the hornet's nest. Because, uh, we need to definitely get him away, or get the Indians to calm down a little bit. Alright, I need to send this gentleman It's going to take him a long time to get there, so he's kind of going to be on his own, but he's a scout, he's okay. Alright, let's continue to follow. I might actually just attack it just to annoy them. Excellent. Maybe their colony will starve. Where did my other privateer go? Or am I going crazy? Oh, and the Dutch are sending out troops. So maybe all along they did have that third one, but I'm not really going to worry about them at this moment. But if the time comes... Alright, these look like interesting people that we need to look at. Adam Smith uh, allows factory level buildings to be built in the colonies. Uh, function, production of one and one half units to manufacture goods. Okay, that's actually a big boost. Oh, when he joins the Congress, all existing colonies in the area around them become visible on the map. Francisco de Coronado. I'm about tempted to do that one, but it scares me because I don't really want to see where they're at yet. Francis Drake, the combat strength of all your privateers are increased by 50%. He's excellent to have in-game because you will have privateers going up against the the king's galleons uh, or his uh, man of wars, and that bonus is pretty much the only thing you can keep to pick them off. So let's see here. the game will go back. Simon Bolivar. Sons of Liberty membership in all your colonies has increased by 20%. Wow, that is a big boost. And then Juan de Sepulveda. Uh, okay, we're not, we're, he's nothing. He causes if you have missionaries out, which we don't. 
So Francis Drake would be a good one. Adam Smith would be excellent, but we are not ready for factory level buildings yet. So... Hmm. Nah, we're gonna go with Salmon Boulevard. I think that will help us out in the long run. And the king was upset about me picking him, I guess. So he added regulars to his military. So when the turn rolls back around, we'll see what he's up to. Snarky king. Let's check out the reports. Um... Affairs. I wish I could contact the Dutch. Ah, here you can see the English Expedi Expeditionary Force 26 regulars, 10 dragoons, 8 cannons, and 5 men of wars. So we're not very close to even declaring independence. So we still got a way to go, gamers. That would take us up to 36% when we get this Founding Father, but still not enough. So we've got a long way to go. I hope you've enjoyed the journey thus far, but we're going to end it here. So this is SKS with Let's Play Colonization. We'll see you next time. Good night, gamers.